Hi, welcome back to QTP interview questions .blogspot.in. This website uh, provides all kinds of QTP interview questions and their answers. So, uh, in this uh, particular video, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, Object Spy in Quick Test Professional. Object Spy in QTP is very important tool that is used to uh, learn uh, the properties and the values of the objects. So, here is a shortcut icon for Object Spy, or you can uh, also go to object spy from tools and then selecting object spy so after you click on that it will open this window object spy and there is a hand button so if you want to spy on any object you have to click on this hand button suppose uh, i want to spy uh, say this google edit box so open qtp click on hand button and pressing control uh, just uh, move this window down, downwards and then click on this edit box so as you can see the properties and their values of this edit box are displayed here so the class name these are the properties first column and these are the values of those properties so for this web edit as you can see the class name is web edit then its absolute x value absolute y value then the class is ls team default value is blank disabled is zero that means this uh, edit box is not dis disabled height of this edit box is 34 html id is blank html tag is input inner html is blank inner text is blank kind is single line max length is 2048 name is q outer html is input class then outer text is blank read only is zero that means this is not read only rows are zeros then a type is text value is blank so all these properties and their values you can uh, find out using the uh, object spy so there are actually uh, you can also find out the methods of uh, that uh, this object provides that is click check property capture bitmap uh, drag drop exist etc and there are two review buttons so runtime object methods and test object methods so if you select uh, runtime object methods here you can find out the internal properties of that object that is uh, test object properties are the object properties that qtp has uh, defined for uh, himself or uh, to identify the object but runtime object properties are uh, the the native properties of that object for example uh, this uh, web edit box attributes are this much or can I have children is false can I have HTML is false checked is false so all these properties you are uh, seeing here is all native properties of that edit box so uh, the basically QTP sp uh, object uh, spy is used uh, to learn more about uh, any kind of object uh, that is available in the application so that's it I mean uh, this is why QTP object spy is used in QTP if you like this video you can just thumbs up this video or you can put the comments at the bottom of this video thank you